Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you three dupes. I've been online, found the cool pieces that I like and I decided to recreate them and it's all about wall art and included in every one of my DIYs today are foil platters. So stay tuned for this. For my first DIY, I found this online, this coffee cup in metal wall art. It's quite large, 50 times 60 centimeters. I will do a smaller version of it and I will use this frame to do it. It's a wooden frame and a wooden backing, so that's super good. I will just remove that picture and put the backing in place again. And then I will start off by cleaning it thoroughly. Very dirty one. And then I will paint it in a satin black color. And I applied two coats. And here I'm working on the frame, but I will do the center as well. I completely cover it in this paint. Now I'm dry brushing just the frame with a white acrylic paint. I have printed out my inspiration piece, just elongated a little bit and then I'm cutting it out. It looks like this and I will try it in my frame. It will go like that, but I will use this foil platter to get that metal effect. So first thing, trying it out, but I need to flatten it. So I will cut off the rim of my platter first and then smooth everything out. This video is part of This Is My Thing collab hosted by Maria at Yetra Creaciones. I will have links to Maria's channel and all the others in my description along with a link to the playlist of this collab so you can get loads of inspiration. I'm using an ice scraper to smooth my foil platter out. Now I'm using a ballpoint pen to trace my templates. Not to get that uh, ink there, but to get an indent in my foil. And that will help me to cut it out. And this foil is so thin, so I'm using just a pair of scissors to do so. And this is how it looks. I think it looks good. Now I'm taking my eye scraper once again and just smooth everything out and try to flatten it as much as possible. Then it's time to spray paint my cutout with a metal copper color and then I go over it slightly with some gold spray paint as well and this is how it looks beautiful I think but I need a slight touch of uh, some black so I am dry brushing the edges with a black acrylic Time to adhere it, so I'm just putting some white tacky glue on my piece, on the back side, of course, everywhere. Now I'm putting it in place, try not to press it down to start with, just to see that it's in the right position before I do that. And then I put something heavy on top like that and set it aside to dry for a bit. And 
Et voilà, here it is in my kitchen area, looking pretty, I think. I like the contrast of the metal and the black. Fits right into my decor. Tell me, what do you think? And here we have a comparison. 229 US dollars versus mine for only one dollar. Smaller, of course, but nevertheless. For my second dupe, I found this half a cup uh, of coffee, wall hanging. I couldn't find any price, but whatever price it might be, I do it for cheaper, I assure you. I'm going to need a backing for my coffee cup and I will use this piece of like a thick cardboard. So I'm taking a plate and I'm tracing just half a circle and then I need to cut it out and I do that with my jigsaw. I am taking a piece of sandpaper and just sand off the edges to get it nice and smooth. Now I'm taking a tape measure to find the center of my half circle, mark it and then drill a hole because this is how I will hang it on the wall, just sanding off the edges of the hole there. And now I'm on to my foil platter here again and I will keep the rim on one side and try to smooth everything out as much as possible as close to the rim as I can get using my ice scraper here again it's very very handy now I'm starting to bend my piece of foil and I decided to use a bowl that is about the same size as my half a cup will be and use that as a template to mold my coffee cup As soon as I find my shape, I will fold it around my back piece like you see me do here. If you're new to my channel, hi! I am Marika and on this channel I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, trash to treasure, dupes, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me! Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join my YouTube family. I will support my structure with some scrap pieces of wood, put it in place and then staple the foil into place onto that back piece. starting to look like a coffee cup doesn't it sort of anyway now it's time for the saucer so i take yet another piece of foil platter and i will use one of the edges like that and uh, keep the rim here as well try to shape it to fit my piece fold it on the back like you see me do here and once I'm happy with the shape of my saucer, I will staple it into place on the back of my piece. Time for some spray paint and I'm using a copper spray paint and a touch of gold spray paint and a touch of black as well. While my cup is drying, I will continue with some metal wire shaping these swirly things that will look like steam coming out from my cup. I'm just using my pliers to bend them into shape and I will make four 
pretty much identical ones. Now we'll put them together like this, two swirling one direction and two the other direction, like so. And then I will take just a th very thin metal wire and tie them together like you see me do here. And I will use my pliers to just tighten them like that and then I will spray paint them in a gold color. And then I realized I forgot to make a handle for my coffee cup. So I take a piece of uh, the rim that I cut off earlier and shape it like an ear shape, like that. And once I'm happy with the shape, I will staple it into place on the back side, like that. And go ahead and spray paint that part as well in the same copper and gold colors. I have printed out the word espresso on my scanning cut and I will attach it onto my coffee cup and I will find the center and uh, put down those letters right there and just adjust it a little bit with the letter so it matches the shape of my cup. Now I'm taking some black, some gold and some copper acrylic paint and dry brushing onto my cup to get more variations in color. Here I'm shaping a piece of floral foam to fit into my coffee cup and I will attach it with some hot glue. And into that floral foam, I will press my metal wires, steam, and uh, I will cover everything inside the cup with some polyfill. I let it show to mimic the froth of my coffee. And here it is, sitting on my stone wall just above my espresso machine looking very pretty i think it turned out okay i'm happy with the result tell me what you think it's a fun thing to have on the wall there and here is the comparison don't have a price on that one but mine was only one dollar for my third and final diy i have found this piece of wall art online beautiful black and golden leaves 73 euros so I found some frames left in my garage they are metal frames and I like that because the final destination for these pieces is my barbecue area so I have three pieces and the blue one I will spray in a gold color just one coat I decided to keep the backing of my frames and here I am painting all of them in a white acrylic paint, just one coat. Time for my foil platters again and I have already removed the rim and flattened the surface. So you don't have to see that all over again. And now I'm taking my ballpoint pen and uh, start making shapes of leaves. I got room for four leaves on my foil sheet. And now I'm cutting them out like that. And then it's time to make them pretty. 
So I'm taking my ballpoint pen yet again just to create indents. That's what I'm after. And I'm creating these uh, vein shapes like you see me do here on one side and then mimic them on the other side. And I decided to do that on all my leaves and then on a few of them I will leave just the leaves with indents like that and some of them I will cut out what I've just created. I could use an exacto knife which I did here but that was very very time consuming so I decided for the rest of my cutouts I will use my scissors. Just cutting out the shapes Bend them and cut them off. I will use the rims that I cut off the foil platters as my stems. I'm just uh, pressing the excess foil around the rim to make it look pretty and then I cut off the sizes that I need so it will look something like that I will have um, six leaves on the big picture and once I'm happy I will go out and spray paint my pieces. So the ones with just indents, no cutouts, I will spray paint them in a matte black spray paint. And the ones that I cut out, I will spray paint in a golden color. So I'm placing them out once again. They look pretty, don't they? The black ones, however, I will continue to embellish them slightly by using my creamy golden color and just rub a little bit on them to highlight the texture. Then I will attach them and I'm using a combination of my white tacky glue, like you see me do here, and also some hot glue in certain places especially on the stems and once i'm happy with the placement i will put something heavy on top and let them dry for a bit and then i will use the same kind of leaves on the smallest of my frames just using three leaves for my gold frame, I will use this big leaf that I had on hand. Just put it on my foil sheet, trace around it with my ballpoint pen. It looks like this. And now I will cut it out with my scissors, like you see me do here, bit by bit. Now I'm taking the back end of a paintbrush and just pressing into my leaf to create the veins. Once I'm done, I will spray paint my leaf in a gold color. If you like this video and videos just like this, hit that like button and the subscribe button of course to support my channel and to get inspired once or twice a week when I post my videos. Et voila, here is my leaf art, looking beautiful. I love how they turned out. Tell me, what do you think of my creations today? Did you have a favorite of my tubes? 
let me know in the comments. I just love to read your comments. It makes my day. As I said earlier, I will keep these pieces of wall art outdoors in my barbecue area. So I am happy that I've chosen metal frames and metal artwork. And now for the final comparison, $80 for the piece online and only three US dollars for my version. So now it's time to head on over to my description box and hit that playlist link to this collab for more inspiration. Thank you so very much for watching. See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.